You are now tuning into the Wig and Shade Hour with Chris with the next. Alright, so let's get into this. So I want to talk about the whole um, Breakfast Club interview with Charlemagne the God and uh, Takashi 69 um, Alright, so my take on that is, first of all, I guess this, this is a lot of people are like, we glad he, he held his own because you know Charlemagne and God likes to roast people. You know he was um, well he was up under Wendy Williams' wings. I feel like this is the second interview where he was not able to um, get up under the skin of the, the artist because the first one was Don Robinson, not Don Robinson, sorry Don Richardson from um, Danny D. Kane. He was saying all this crazy stuff and, and the comments wasn't really landing to her. So I'm glad that. Um, Six nine held his own, but um, also Charlemagne and God was telling him, you know, what the stuff you're doing is gonna lead you down to some um, bad, some bad stuff. You know, a lot of people saying they're not jealous of him. I'm pretty sure some people are jealous of him because of you know all his clout and his fame. And um, yeah, I do feel like he had people that's trying to you know ride his coattails. You know, that just comes with um, fame or even being acknowledged in the um, music industry or whatever industry. But a lot of people just saying, you know, you do you. It's cool that you do you, but just start rep representing stuff that isn't you, like Bloods and Crips, because you're not about that life. Uh, you keep dropping your location, but that's after you leave. And you have a lot of kids that look up to you that might want to, like, you know, oh, well, if Takashi is doing this, then I could possibly do it too. But let's face it, a lot of these kids, a lot of these people, even people that's not even kids, like people that's 20 years old, you know, they'd be like, oh, well, if Kim Kardashian can post nudes and um, have a sex tape, then I might as well just do it too. You know, you, I'm pretty sure y'all know somebody that got a bunch of followers because they post ass pictures all day. But we have people that's so, like celebrities that do it. So they feel like, oh, celebrities can do it, I could do it too. So if Kasha is out here banging, then some kids are going to be like, you know, I can do that too. But that's the thing. They ain't got the money and bodyguards to help them take, um, to take care of them. So they go bang something and they might get shot and killed. And OGs, you have a lot of people just tell them, you know, stop trying to represent something. Or if you're gonna be, or at least if you're gonna be a studio gangster, you know you need to check in, you need to pay respect, and you know stop with this bad boy image because it's not you. You know you could rap, you could do, you know do you be great at you, but just stop, just stop representing, stop representing the Bloods and the Crips. And I feel the same way, you know. It just uh, you know all the stuff that he's doing. You know we have a generation that. People eating Tide Pods, come on now, Tide Pods. They have bleach and soap in it, and your ass could die. And people have died from it. Because it's social media hype, so, you know. Uh, the interview was good, you know. But I'm just with everybody else, the game and everybody else, you know. It's cool that you do use rainbow hair and all that, but just leave the gangster stuff out, you know. And then the game's saying, you know, you know, you go, your little running, your little money gonna run out because you're paying people to protect you. Your little money gonna run out, and then you ain't gonna be nobody, and you gonna end up getting hurt from the stuff that you do. So that's just my comments, questions on it. If you got comments, questions, leave them comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Crystal the next with the wig and shade out. Peace.